the atmospheric air is a mixture of many gases oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide water vapor and other tiny gases in humidification field we are considering atmospheric air as it contains two components only which they are dry air like O2 into CO2 secondly the water vapor the term of dry air call it in the status of atmospheric air when there is no single particles of water vapor which when we add when we add a specific vapor to atmospheric air then the air is called wet air so humidification is a physical process which we increase the amount of vapor moisture in the specific volume of dry air the relative humidity RH is a percentage which gives us an index to know how much the atmospheric air may hold on more uh, amount of vapor or moisture then when we say that RH is zero that means there is no moisture vapor in the atmospheric air the maximum RH is 100 percent which is which any person who have a hygrometer device may notice that and you cannot add any moisture to that air at all there are two distinct methods physical process to humidify the atmospheric air and they are isothermal process and adiabatic process isothermal process means that we are increasing increasing the moisture of air at constant temperature in other hand the adiabatic process means we are increasing the moisture of the air at variable temperature until reached to specific relative humidity the last process has an inverse proportional relationship between relative humidity and temperature in other words increasing the relative humidity will decrease the temperature of atmospheric inside the room for this natural phenomenon and process it has been named as evaporative cooling process evaporative as it as it makes the air humidi humidity as it makes the air humidity by evaporated the liquid water cooling as it make a significant drop of temperature inside the area the famous chart in air conditioning named as psychrometric chart which is used by HVAC engineers to determine the relationship between many parameters like temperature density insolubility relative and specific humidity and so on it is very useful chart which must be understood well by the professionals although they although they will make us mistakes in the air conditioning systems inside residence buildings or offices the right humidity makes a decisive contribution in a variety of situations encountered in day-to-day -day life in the business environment as well as in a private premises the importance of humidity is so significant that clear directives exist in many countries for the operation and maintenance of, of humidification systems it is scientifically proven that a real sense of well-being can only be achieved in narrow in narrowly definite humidity range between 40 and 60 percent these values are often difficult to maintain under day-to-day -day conditions this is why we provide a comprehensive range of different humidification system embodying a variety of technologies to ensure optimal air conditioning in every situation.